All right. This, I don't know if you can see it well, but this is a vintage elevator. And I'm gonna show you how to ride one of these things. This is pretty much what most call buttons on vintage elevators would look like. Generally, if the in-use light is off, you can press it. So I'll just get a grip on it with my hand I'm holding my camera with, and let's call it. That means that the elevator, and how do I want to explain this? This means the elevator is open on some other floor than this one. Actually, it happen actually, no. It happens to be right here. So to open an elevator, you just grab the handle and you pull it open. It might be heavy. I usually brace it with my foot. And now pull the gate open. You really only need to pull it open just to get in. Let's turn on the light. It's a preheat light. Now, make sure the gate closes behind you. Otherwise, it's not going to go. Oh, they removed the handle. So I guess I'll just kind of have to be careful. There are pinch points here. Do not generally, generally, I do not recommend doing this. That's the lock. Once that locks, the elevator will go. Well, while we're at it, let's get a cab view. This is an original Kimball elevator from the 1940s. I don't know if it focused on that. There's the emergency phone. These are the fixtures and are pretty basic. High technology for the time that this elevator was installed. Here's the certificate. Now, when riding a vintage elevator, you want to press the button, and then we're going to watch out the window, like so. Here we are at three. Now, flashlight's not wanting to cooperate now. You can open the door and get off up here, or you can just go right back down. You have the option to do that on vintage elevators. While we're up here, let's get a good look at this button panel. Anyway, let's go back down to one. When you are you generally on vintage elevators, a lot of elevator enthusiasts like to take a second ride, but to save time, we are not going to do that. Now, once again, usually there's a handle here for you to grab onto 
Do not ever grab the gate like this. That'll pinch your fingers, possibly chop them off. Now I have to be careful doing this because there's no handle. <clears throat> Just push it open. Grab this handle. Oh, I don't ever grab this unless you absolutely have to. Usually a handle's provided. Now, one of the biggest dangers with vintage elevators is this gap right here. You can, sh you can, sh some people can shove themselves in there, shut those doors, press the button. That will kill you without a doubt. Now, as a common courtesy, you always close the doors so other people can use them. There, that looks good, nice and shut. Oh, another thing. Let's return this elevator the way we found it and turn the light off. There. Now we're going to shut the gate. Make sure it's all the way shut. And then this door, I don't think it's going to, yeah, it's just going to do that. Anyway. Oh, one other thing. Never stick your hands out the gate while the elevator is moving. That's dangerous and should be common sense. There you have it, and that's how to ride a vintage elevator. Thanks for watching.